So what we're looking at here is this fantastic transition point between the diaphragm here and the transversus abdominis muscle here. And this gap here represents the costal margin where the various ribs come in to their cartilaginous insertion, as it were, along the margin of the rib cage. Now, I've been just uh, sort of trimming back the covering of the diaphragm here from the thoracic side because we've already peeled it away from the the uh, peritoneum here and it still has its own you know every muscle has its epimesial covering here so so we have our our peritoneum and the diaphragm in the back and then here we've fluffed up the the pleura on this side and in fact I guess at times that is what I'm reflecting here is the the pleura which is not really well there we go <clears throat> once again something I thought couldn't couldn't be peeled up too easily is peeling up so what I'm peeling up here is diaphragmatic pleura never doubt the ability of Mr. Agape to real, reveal another layer of himself. That's my new motto. So I'm peeling up the diaphragmatic pleura. That is to say the parietal pleura in the region of the diaphragm. Okay, and that's what's being lifted here. Diaphragmatic pleura. Never doubt it that there is this layer. It's here. It's here. So of course, it's sort of disintegrating in my hand as I pull it, but you are having the benefit of seeing it uh, lift up like this. So that's a full contact tissue with the diaphragm. It's adhered to it. And what fascinates me about this transition point is something that was pointed out to me in a class once by a student. Never also underestimate the intelligence of your, of your student. If you're a teacher, uh, I, 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 commit, I, I beg you, if you're a teacher, listen to your students because uh, students are smart. They're often smarter than you. They often already know what they've come to the class for uh, at some level of their person or overtly. They may have received a degree in it or something and, and they're just uh, humoring you uh, sometimes listening to you talk when in fact you could be learning from them. Anyway, um, uh, Leslie Kamenoff, a wonderful uh, yoga, a teacher of yoga teachers uh, in Manhattan once uh, in my class walked up and showed me this incredible dissection of, of the, the uh, transition here of the, of the diaphragm and the transversus abdominis muscles and demonstrated what I'm planning to show you now the basically a, 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 the perp, a right angle of the fibers to each other uh, in the same plane here. Um, see we have the diaphragm fibers coming they're straight up and down fibers there they're at this point in the in the frontal uh, sort of a frontosagittal plane they're going up and down basically uh, along the the, the the rib cage. So you look at the rib cage, you see the ribs coming in this way and the diaphragm fibers are going straight this way. And then we see here the transversus abdominis fibers which are absolutely going across the body in this direction uh, without a doubt. So we have the fibers of the diaphragm up and down here and the fibers of the transversus abdominis muscle here. Uh, and so they are um, opposing each other uh, in that sense. The fibers of one, uh, I guess in a forced breath, they might do something else, but in, in normal breathing, 
So this one's for you, Leslie. I, I really appreciate your your pointing this out to me uh, years ago, and uh, I've been fascinated by it ever since. You can see they really come to it's like a, a tendon, common tendinous insertion at the back of the costal margin. So so we breathe with our diaphragm here, and the diaphragm is is like a like a stocking cap over the viscera here as it pulls the the viscera come with every breath every shortening of these fibers results in a drawing down of the viscera and the drawing down of the viscera displaces the abdominal contents in their softest directions uh, which in the case here of the abdomen would generally not be backwards where the bones are, right, but f forwards where the abdomen is. So, so this, this is going to go whoop as you breathe. And as this expands, then we'll have the lengthening of the, of the transversus abdominis fibers. And certainly uh, the other obliques as well. <coughs> I don't know, maybe the, maybe the external obliques coming this way are actually facilitating the... Uh, who knows, that's, that's a complicated question. You have to talk to people at the, like I said, uh, talk to people who are really into it over at the Breathing Project there in Manhattan. Um, they'll tell you all about it.